The day I hung out my ballerina shoes might have been the darkest day of my life. It's... Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I'm Delilah. Hey, hey, Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. That's how it goes. And this here is Frank, looking good, wearing his snow white shirt, rocking the Wawa hat, working man. Speaking of, I was looking at myself in the camera here. I look like a blue collar guy, don't I? You do. I don't know if it like matches my personality. Like, if I'm quiet and you just like, maybe actually you kind of look like you could work in a on a shipyard or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Like we look like, uh, yeah, it's like the the blue collar podcast. Yeah. We both just got done our shit. Like we should, we look like we should be at like a a shipyard bar. In sure. between, like you're like Nancy, and it's sure. like you're you're tougher than you look. Uh, don't mess. <laughs> don't I look tough? Don't mess with Nancy, and I I just look like uh, I did an eighty hour work week yeah. this week. There's a there's a picture of a man who is at a sports game, I believe, and he has a little guy next to him, with his child, and it's this big burly like guy. And I believe he has coal dust on his face. It's like he literally had to come straight from wherever he works to get this kid to this game or whatever. So it was like yeah. super, you know, the internet loved it. Yeah. We'll have to put that up here. Why, why don't we? Um, yeah. You would never know. I was, a, I was like a little, little, yeah, you're, a little you're, toddler teacher. You're a, a toddler teacher. Academia. Uh, I got caught um, having a... a aggressive dance battle at work today with the child with children so we there's two the two classrooms are separated just by this like hallway mm-hmm. so it's like open classroom open hallway like no doors or anything it's and um every time i walk in it and i look down the hallway i see they're like the littler kids and um we had music playing in our classroom okay it's all of our and so we go and i, and I see the two us two of the little kids and they're dancing. Oh my gosh! And so then I start dancing, <laughs> boom, boom, and um, that all of the kids that were were with me were facing the other kids. Oh my gosh! We, we, were, we were dancing. Oh. And they, and then all the other toddlers come, and they're dancing. No. This and, is so. Co- talk I, about viral. This you should. I guess you can't video kids, but. And then like, I went and point at the uh, the little toddler from down the way, and all the kids are like. No. And then I turn and the um. The director of the school has given tours. Oh, <laughs> that's, just, that's cute, though. He's in front of my class. And so then I start like, putting chairs away. I'm like, oh, you should have kept I'm dancing. A teacher too. But, I'm a teacher, too. Um, yeah, I would say we won. Yeah. yeah. Well, you were older, right? <laughs> no, like my, my team. I don't mean you. I meant, I thought you said your class was older. Yeah. 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 Well, you know, age, age before. Dancing. Yeah, usually the younger dancers. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I would think. You know, when, like when like the little you are, the I think the, the more because dancing all comes from I think confidence. We talked about it a little bit yesterday about like dance like no one's watching. Oh yeah, and I think that's the worst thing you can do because I always tell people who say they can't dance is dancing has nothing to do with skill. Mm-hmm. It has something to do with skill. Don't get me wrong. Well, yeah, if you're in a competition, if you're in a competition, but the only time you can mess up in a dance circle. Is if you lose confidence. As soon as you lose confidence in yourself, right. it turns cringy. Right. That turns into the, hey. Yeah. The more, like, why, like, yeah. it's, people are, are cheering you on. Right. The youngest have that. Mm-hmm. They're, they're bouncing around. They do. Then, you, like, there's, like, sort of this, this graph. Mm-hmm. It's like a downward bell graph. Well, I think bell goes all the way. But it goes down. <clears throat> maybe it is. Because maybe, like, when you're really old, you don't care anymore. See the old timers. Yeah, and then, and then people write, I love this. Yeah. This better be me. <clears throat> but yeah, my recommendation, anyone who thinks they're a bad dancer is, would that be dancing like no one's watching? I don't know. Did we just well, come full circle to once again agreeing that you should dance like no one's watching? No, do you, no I, I don't Little agree. Little kids want yeah, you to watch. They always true. say, look at me, look at me, look what I'm doing. No, don't dance like no one's watching. Dance like a toddler. Yeah. Do a lot of things like Todd. Yeah. I, I mean, I've said that before since I started working at school. I said the two people you should model your life at, off of, maybe not like financially, but are. <laughs> yeah, find someone to finance you. <laughs> yeah. Become fully self yeah. or fully non self reliant. The two people you should model your life off of is the very small and the very old. Mm. And uh, dancing, it would be one of the ones that. Look! Look at the toddlers. They don't care. They're just having fun. 
Yeah. They're, they're not dancing to, to, to prove anything to anyone. They're dancing because they can't keep that excitement in. I know. They hear that, that music and they just, it's crazy. You know what? Dancing's funny. Let's just talk about dance. I used to dance professionally. I know, I know you did. Um, <clears throat> those were the days. The days I, <clears throat> the day I hung out my ballerina shoes might have been the darkest day of my life. It's, it was December 21st, so it was, in fact, the darkest day. Um, but you can go back to it. Don't, don't, don't tempt me. <laughs> you know who I turn into. Um, now I forget what I was saying. Dancing. That's what, that's what happens. Uh, see, that's what I take from the old people. Just forget things. Oh, you said dancing. It was about little, little kids. Yeah. Dancing, maybe excitement. You can't keep it. In. Oh, dancing is one of these funny things where <clears throat> we've actually, I think we had a dancing podcast. Yeah, we did. Where we talked about this. We talked about where David in the Bible mm-hmm. dances before the Lord with all his might when the, um, when the Ark of the Covenant is coming in. And when you see, like, the kids that were across the hall, like, just turned two. They're very small. But they hear music and they yeah. dance. Like, it, it's... No, I see it on like, TikTok. Like, you know things like laughter and, and right. crying. But I think it's fascinating how dancing is ingrained in us. Yeah, it really Not is. Not like it is, you know, in the anim- like animal kingdom or something. Right. You'll hear a, a baby deer cry, you know, because he oh he's hungry or yeah. He, but like the idea that you don't need to be taught to dance to dance no is is quite cool. And I think in the I mean check out the dancing podcast. I'm sure we go in depth about this, but I think what we talked about is it is an outward expression of inward joy. Right. Pretty cool. Yeah, uh, and I was going to say <clears throat> in that line of thinking. That when you think you're a bad dancer, a lot of the times it's because of the of the choreographed dances of the day. Yes. So like you feel I can't do that. Like I can't Dougie. Mm. <laughs> um, right? Yeah. But what you just said, the more confident and natural you are, that's just dance. Obviously, it's fun to learn the TikTok dances yeah. or it's learn to know how to isolate movements and everything like this. But a lot of times you feel insecure. And of course, there's so much insecurity in places where dancing is happening. Like say if you go to a club or something. Yeah. You're 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 insecure. Am I wearing the right clothes, you know, yeah. to, to blend in? Down to ordering drinks. People are like, I don't know what to drink to get. I don't want this drink's gonna say this about me. Yeah. And then as for dancing, are people you know, are people gonna notice that I'm trying to do whatever dance of the day yeah. is and I can't do it? And that's where the problems fall in. And it's not, un, it's, it's not, I mean, people do tear you up. Yeah. And make fun of you. They do. So it's not like, oh, it's all in your mind. Yeah. It's, like, it's not. People will say, look, look what he's doing. Or yeah. he's on the ground. Oh my gosh. Like, oh, look. Yeah. They've said it a lot to me. But how sad, right? I mean, like. I, it is. Once, to go back to my earlier point of um, use toddlers dancing is an outward expression of joy. Dancing is not like, like public speaking, you know, other things right. that people are, 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 or athletics, where they say they're not good at. It's like, you're literally stopping yourself. Yeah. It's like saying like, how sad is it to say I have an ugly laugh and then you don't laugh. Yeah. You know, and it's like, oh, that's so sad that yeah. like, you hide your laughter, right. which is a, a inner word response to something. How sad is it to hide your you're, you're dancing, which is just joy at the end of the physical expression of joy, just because you've been convinced that you don't know how to. Yep. Wow. Wow. What, what a deep concept for December 1st. It's the first day of December, 25 days of Christmas. How you doing? It's also, it's so we're in Advent. So we're in Advent. Um. Wow. So I think last year... Uh, we had like 25 days of Christmas and I would get a present. It's longer than 25, right? It started on Sunday, which is, um, cause it has to be the Sundays. Okay. Right? The candles. Okay. But, um, okay. That's why I gave you the paper. No, I you can't really read the paper. Why not? Sunday, November 27th to December 24th to Saturday, December 24th. Uh, the four themes of Advent, there's, there's four of them, hope, peace, love, and joy. And so... The first Sunday, we've lit the candle of hope. Yeah. The candle of hope. So I'm getting... So Has been lit. Rewind. So we're not doing presents. <laughs> You're so funny. Oh! 
Oh, I knew. Oh, sweet. Not that I was like expecting it or anything. Oh, wow. I got to show the camera. <laughs> Advent presents are back. Did anyone ever see a Haribo Happy Cola roulette? No, I have never. And I love Haribo Happy Cola is one of my favorite candies. And sometimes when I'm editing, I'm like, I wish I just had a little sweetie yeah. to pop in my mouth as a little victory for every five minutes I get <laughs> done of editing. This is awesome. You know, now I'm kind of sitting here being, it's one of those things where you wish that you hadn't made the joke about not getting <laughs> presents when there actually is one. No, I'm so happy. I'm so happy because you walked right in. Like I set traps all the time. Okay. And uh, you walked right into it. Yeah, I, I I was just me being fake petty. I knew she had some before me. Wow. Uh, uh, that is from the Russian grocery market. Really? Yeah. Um, that Russian market there by the dollar store. Now, these things always fascinate me. So right? I don't know why America doesn't Well, have that's what it. I was about to say. It's like these kind of things always fascinate me where it's like you, th- you think you know a company. Yeah. No, but when you always find these like strange add-ons and yeah. it's like how... How deep does do, do these like companies go that like you don't even know what right. products they're putting? Yeah, out. well, remember it's... we did was it M and M's or like potato chips? We were we were uh, one one of our podcasts we were of, t- over the like, other countries. Yeah, like Japan yeah, had like, like green yeah, tea. Lay's is, is making um, you know seaweed flavored chips yeah. that you would never know because right, it's right. for a specific audience. Wow, this is awesome. This is awesome. <laughs> uh, I got you. Um, I got it you doesn't the, work that way. I got you the gift of hope. Well, so you well, do. Well, it's the candle of hope. So, yeah. Right? So, like, you know, there, it, we live in a materialistic world, but we are spiritual. So, every time you give me something materialistic, I give you some spiritual in return. Okay. So, I prayed for you today. Thanks. But also, on our uh, gift giving podcast, or s- just talking about it, I believe we talked about when you give a gift, you are actually getting a gift by giving it. Yeah. What a gift the giver gives us to see ourselves. Can I tell you something? Oh, I hope I still have it in my history. You know, in the Bible, there's a lot about dreams. I had a really weird dream. It's not a weird dream. That's like doing disservice. Uh, uh, What, you wrote it down? No, I I Googled it this morning. I don't know. Oh, you lost the history. Yeah. You just just delete history by habit? (laughs) (laughs) Um... I can't right. remember. It was just a few hours be- ago. Yeah, I know. Okay, whatever. So I, I, I will find it again. I just can't. I don't want to take like two yeah, minutes to, to figure it, is, it out. It is a special day. And so in the dreams, like just someone said or I said and it was like, like I, I, ISS 1-2 or ISS 12. No. ISS 12. ISS 12? It wasn't that because I just Googled that and that oh. wasn't it. But, <laughs> um, I, I will find it. Okay. But for some reason, I was like told, like, remember this, remember this. And... um. I thought it was weird, you know. I thought it was like in different contexts in the dream, but I, I wake up and I and I Google it, thinking it would just be absolutely right? nothing. It's a satellite. What? A satellite that went up in in 2018. No, you're kidding. No, it's like a broadcasting satellite. What are you talking about? I, I might be saying too much. Like I don't know if that was like. I know. You know like, I was thinking that when you were talking. Like sleeper agent, like, and like they they give you a yeah, code and, yeah. and you're, you're. But is is that like that's freakier to me than like. Fighting demons in your dreams. Yeah. If it was nothing, that would be totally normal. Right. If it was something that you heard, it's oh, you you, you heard um, what's like that satellite that just went up and like not the satellite, the, this camera. Oh yeah, yeah, the so, one that took all the beautiful pictures. And I was like, oh, and then I found, and it's like, yeah, we well, probably heard it on TikTok. Right. But random satellite that no and, one and and it was like really repeating to you to remember it. So I I have never googled anything from my dream, and also never it wasn't like a string of words where it's like right. Search up yeah. Expedition 312. And it's like, oh, well, yeah, Expedition 312 was a mission that they did. It was just three letters, two numbers, a satellite that went up. Well, I just want to show you, I got that tattooed on me yesterday. No. <laughs> but I don't, no, I don't know I what know. to make of that. I don't either. I'm kind of... I'm kind of... You getting a little nervous over there? I'm not nervous, but... I don't think it's nothing, but I don't want people to think I'm going to wear a tinfoil hat tomorrow. I don't know. Just watch out for let's, it. Yeah, let's just ISS let's just have a happy cola and move on. <laughs> I, I first candle of hope. I hope it meant nothing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or something good. Or something good. Yeah. Or maybe it was just like through my phone, like the brain. Well, that's waves. not great either. Yeah. Or like radio waves. That's even worse. I'd rather it be 
Supernatural. Yeah. Let's walk through it. All right, guys. It is Thursday, and um, Thursday is not about conspiracies. It's about the Bible. Um, you know, the dreams may give you a lot of, of, of things that are meant to tell you something. The Bible gives you a lot more. And so on Thursday, instead of looking as, at the Bible as a whole, as one book that can be a soup of, of love and, and understanding, uh, we take our time and look at one verse. We go through it. We, um, we break it down, sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word, letter by letter. And um, we just, every word in the Bible is valuable. And so instead of, you know, instead of making it all one thing, we put one thing on the pedestal. Uh, one thing on the pedestal. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. <clears throat> December 1st, walk through third Thursday, ISS 12. Um, so we Why were... are we not dancing? Oh, roll the intro. Sorry, I'm just... ISS. <laughs> I've been activated. <laughs> roll the intro, please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz walk through Wednesday just begun. What's up, guys? This is walk through Thursday. Um, everything's normal everything's fine everything's okay <laughs> now this is normally where we talk about what walk through thursday is and that's when we open the bible and but we did that already it's my fine. brain scrambled it's fine. i had a lot of cell phone waves go through it this morning so we're just going to get into it the book we're going to be looking at today is hebrews hebrews coffee every morning <laughs> yeah come on yeah. come on um stop. hebrews uh old testament you know, you know it's how. like um i think is it Judges and Hebrews? They just kind of give us a rundown of, we've been being told like kind of novelettes up to that point. And this is like, let's let's break it down. Yeah. So we are reading um, Hebrews 11, 32. And also 39 and, and 40. also 39 to 40. Okay, so maybe I said one verse earlier, but we're doing. Verse. I it'll all make sense. Yeah, when we read it, it has to go together. It's 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 Hebrews eleven. Now, and, do we have anything against Hebrews thirty three two thirty eight? Well, I mean, come on, then it would be walk through paragraphs. That would I be mean, yeah, walk through a book of the Bible. Yeah, um, I'm through. kind of wanting. Um, I kind of want Hebrews eleven forty, but instead of me giving a background, normally you give you give backstory. You can just do it. You just let me do it. All right, so. Um, so I should just read the whole thing, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. And what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell you about Gideon, Barak, Samson, and Jeff and Jephthah, about David and Samuel and the prophets. Dot dot dot. That's called a Ulysses S. Grant. Okay. <laughs> um, now we're at thirty-nine. These were all condemned for their faith, yet none of them received what had been promised. Since God had planned something better for us, so that only together with us would they be made perfect. I think I might have, I don't know if I want to blame you, but I think I did some of the emphasis wrong. Yeah, and you read it cold, and you didn't um, buy me printer ink, so that's why I had to write it with a marker. Yours is in pen, mine's a marker. Um, do you want to read it again, or you think you got it? <clears throat> All right, let's read the first part. Okay. And what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell you about Gideon, Barak, Samson, and Jephthah, about David and Samuel and the prophets. I don't Dasher, have time. dancer, for <laughs> I don't have time to do all that. Like, no. wh wh what do you expect? All right. Now, fast forward. These were all condemned for their faith. Commended. Did I write condemned? No, you didn't. I think <laughs> I said it twice, and maybe that's why. These were all commended for the... Now it makes a lot more sense. <laughs> These were all commended for their faith, yet none of them received what they had been promised. Since God had planned something better for us, so that only together with us would they be made perfect. Okay. So I like this um, Hebrews 11 um, paragraph. And even if you want to go and, and find 33 to 38. And, um, you know, because we've talked about before. We read about Barak. He was, he was the story of uh, Song of Deborah. Yeah. And, um, you know, the other people pretty famously. Who were also famously not saints. Not they had bad boy, they yeah. had bad behavior. I'm a bad guy. <laughs> they had Duh. bad behavior um, yeah. that you're like, when you think of Bible characters or Bible heroes, heroes of the Bible, or these people were, even there, it's, it's, it kind of says dot, 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 and the prophets, you know, you're like, oh, these are, these are people that we are emulating. But actually, they served God's purpose, but they weren't, that's why I want to talk about it. Yeah. Because... 
they did they did they were they were successful in serving um god's purpose and all of them have totally different stories so you can't i'm not really we don't have to like take apart exactly what david did yeah. but it's just like this group of people but then again even though like um uh, samson his birth was also um pre-announced by an yeah. angel of god and yet he was pretty bad samson <laughs> meaning like selfish aggressive you know um in 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 disloyal um so it's like don't make heroes out of them what do you think like i said the reason i chose it is because i thought hey what does this mean i'll bring it to spencer um da, da, da. Uh, so yeah so let's let's go with uh we're gonna read 39 because you know yeah you're right 32 is just given the background it's talking about these prophets 39 is they these were all commended for their faith yet none of them received what they've been promised um so you you look at at any of these people like, uh, i know the most about david so i'm going to talk maybe mostly about david david was like you know the, was the king and stuff but yet he wasn't allowed to build the temple right that was like put onto um his son right um solomon and so it's like and like you said they they, they he did things that like he was commended like everyone loved david for his faith but he did things that you're like well like, i'm not going to copy well, that he sent, yeah. he sent his friend to death and stuff and I'm sure you can go through each one of these, like Samson with the whole like, Delilah thing. Right. Um, Delilah. Yeah. Yeah. I was and, Delilah. Uh, well, <laughs> and it's like, but he was chosen, like you said, by an angel. Right. It's like, well, so why did it end, end bad? Or why did they mess up? Yeah. Why don't it, they, why aren't they the most perfect humans, you know, mm. pre, predestined? And so the way that <laughs> 40 is worded is kind of confusing, but I think, it's, so I'm going to read it. Since God had planned something better for us. So that only together with us would they be made perfect. So more as that stand out is like, is like together with us would be, they be made perfect. And I think in a way, I, we've talked about this for, before in different words, but there's this idea that, yes, not, not like they were all commended for the faith and, and you can, to emulate them, everyone besides Jesus, you need them all, right? Yeah. You need you need to. It's like um in statistics when it's like you have this like scatter plot. Only when you put a hundred do you see a line. Okay. It's because this one's over here. This one's over here. This one's over here. This one's over here. But then when you you know you just keep adding 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 all those dots. There's outliers and stuff. All those dots lead a, a parallel line. And I like it because this. You know, walk through Thursday is about picking out one verse, right? But that is sort of the problem with um, taking things out of context or taking one line out of the Bible, yeah. because it's like, oh well, you know, it doesn't. This doesn't make sense. It's like you need all of the dots to right. see, to see the line. You emulate David for his faith and 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 for his loyalty and stuff. You don't emulate, you know. Well, well, the whole thing with Delilah, Lust, lusting, I mean, yeah. Well, that, that's well, not Delilah with um, Bathsheba. Bathsheba. Even God didn't, right? Like he took his first son because of it, or first child because of it. But all the other things you can, you don't emulate Gideon, Barak, and, and Samson for any one of these things. But you all together, his faith, his devotion, his, right. th this characteristic, you see that only together they would be made. Jesus is the only person who's perfect, right? Right. And, and, and God, but it says because it was God's son. None of the other ones are perfect. As a grouping together with us, like with everyone, that's what what makes it perfect. Right. That's what like you need them all together. Yeah, I like the with us part because you're not just reading a story about like the you know the heroes of Greek or, of Greece or warriors. It's like we are included in this in in their success in this very old story. It's like yeah, we're part and of even it. the first line since God has planned something better for us. Mm -hmm. So it's like. It's it's not you know like, like we it, it's not what would D David do right like he wants something better than, than right, David right it's not what would Samson do. like he didn't because none of, like and that's what the beginning said none of them got what they were promised they all you know were mortal and died and right like, he wants something better for us so only it's like um that like analogy I think Jaden Smith made it but it's like they were saying are you following people 
He's like, I don't consider it like or emulating people. He's like, but if I see, it's like he's he, uh, I think compared it to a dark room, and every time someone's takes it like a, a step that goes up, it lights up. Okay. And then you jump to a next step, and oh, there's nothing there. But then someone else goes, and, okay. Oh, there's a step there, and he's like, why would I start and make new steps? It's you continue the path of the steps. Right. Why would Why would you not look at any of these people? But it's like only with all the people before you making the steps upward. Yeah. Can you? Oh, uh, oh, they did this and that's right. But then they went that way and that didn't make a new step. Right. I'm not gonna follow that. But then this person did this and that made the next step. So it's like you're not trying to be that person. Yeah. You are using the togetherness and everything that you learned from them. That's good. And so. And that's once again why why I like us is because it's like basically dot 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 to be continued. It's you need all of the good to follow to right. to make a perfect life. Not one person in the Bible besides Jesus is perfect. You need them all, and then some. Yeah. To live a perfect life, and that's why you need to learn about all of them and and understand all. Like otherwise, you you see some of these people that like only read the the New Testament. <clears throat> And I think it's because of that safety of knowing right. that, that Jesus was perfect. Right. It's like, well, I can't go wrong. Yeah. And it's like, you're right. Because it's either listen to Jesus or listen to the entirety of the Bible. Right. There, There is no nitpicking the Old Testament. Right. And that's sort of what this is saying. You, you can't nitpick the Old Testament because you need it all together right. to make it perfect. Yeah. And, and we talked yesterday about um, cancel. We, everybody knows about cancel culture and people getting canceled and you know imagine if you were to cancel all of these people that we've named uh, uh, gideon barack samson jephthah david samuel prophets because they all had reason to be canceled there was things that they did so let's delete them from the bible well we 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 miss important parts of their life and also i also find that it might have a, a warning not a warning tale but like being consecrated by god when people say, oh, I'm chosen by God or I'm God's child or I'm God's, you know, anything. Um, it's great and it's wonderful and absolutely claim it. But, you know, take these people who who, who their birth was announced by God and, and, and uh, they still did wrong. You still have a huge responsibility and part to play. You don't, yeah. you don't just go- roll through as an angel. You're yeah. still a human and you're still tempted and you still make these yeah. mistakes. So like you still have to work hard whether you're doing god's work yeah you know? you know and it's like oh this feeling like oh I, I was chosen and stuff and it's like yeah if you look at these people you know like david who was chosen to be the king of, of all of god's lands and stuff and it's like even at that point this is sort of saying like even if not in his time you are still just a part of something and yeah but you even still have now, free like, will i think that, like people think like oh what like, you know someone's chosen and it's like they are the end all be all but right. it's like no, I, I am just like, even if it's just through history, I'm just a small right. piece in this per- perfect grouping, right? right. Like it, it, it's, it's, and that's like, like, that's what it says. That's what makes it perfect. You can't have, you know, in, in like in a, a world of free choice, any one person be perfect. And that's why we're, we're not praying to David. We're not we're like, you can like, he's my favorite. Learn from. Yeah. But it's like I said, I mean, it's. It can it can only be made perfect through this, through like the togetherness, and, and you have them all. But I mean, yeah, I definitely like what I said earlier, where it's like, um, you can even just look at this as a Bible, right? Like, it, it's oh, reading the Bible, reading the Bible. Yeah. Um, when, when I said you know you can have Jesus's perfect life, or you can have all of the Old Testament. Yeah. It, it's the only way it works and and it kind of goes to all the people misquoting the bible to say did you know that someone was um essayed in the bible or or there was slavery all all this thing it's like yeah only to the bible we say it when this walk through thursday the bible's perfect but especially talking about the old testament or anything after the gospels only together is it perfect right yes individually you can find fault in it but that's sort of what this is saying it's it's like god it was it was sculpted by god to be together it was never meant to be right to be scattered and that's why david was never meant to be 
a single person. Uh, Samson, uh, Samuel, Gideon right. were never met. Even in history, when they were just a single person, that was never the overall plan. Right. And so. Yeah, because even um, Samson's story, I don't think it's in Hebrews. It might be in Judges or something. So if you just read it, yeah. you're like, oh, look at him rolling around just yeah. <laughs> being mean to his wife. And next, you know, it's like, right. Well, if you go over to Hebrews, it's going to say that. He did do good, but he also did bad. Yeah. And it's like, and like they were commended, but they didn't receive what they promised. And it's right. like, you can be commended without. And that's like, that's part of, of this, this faith and this togetherness is you need to understand that it's the bigger picture. And that's, you know, life is such a small, our timeline is such a small thing. So you need to think about the bigger picture. And, and yeah. maybe even in your life, you might think they're like, not to go over time, but like, you might think, oh, my life was pointless. Mm-hmm. Not, to, not to, you know, my life, like, I didn't leave a, 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 I didn't do anything of, of notable value. And it's like, you don't know that. Like, no. You, there, there's, pe- there is people, like the prophets, that it's like, like, look at, look at, obviously it ended well for him, but there are the, these Job people that they might end their lives as Job. But when you look at it in, in the grand scheme of yeah. things, it's like, it's all part of this part. Like not one person is not putting a mark right. on this. And that's why it says in us together with us, like as right. a grouping, you need everything to make it perfect. Right. And that's our show. Um, we will be back tomorrow. So long as the um, secret service doesn't come. I know. And get mad that I gave out too many deets, but. Unless you did just what you're supposed to do, because uh, now you just transmit it. The message through YouTube. To yeah. all these people. Oh, that's true. Maybe like that was my. It's like if I had a bad <laughs> ending. It's, the that's people how after be, me. That's how we <laughs> take that satellite down. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll be back tomorrow. Peace.